Hello, I'm Dr. Abbasi, a board certified medical oncologist in an independent practice. Um, I have been uh, sent uh, multiple messages about this viral video uh, about Antica um, uh, presented by Dr. Soon Chan. Uh, and uh, I'm here to give you a clear evidence-based explanation. Um, uh, first of all, what is Antica? Uh, Antica is a um, uh, immune activator uh, stimulating the T cells and the natural killer cells. And the only FDA approval that currently has is on the specific uh, um, uh, setting of the bladder cancer, uh, the uh, non-muscle invasive after the failure of the BCG therapy, it's given along with the BCG. Uh, uh, and um, uh, it does uh, not uh, have any other um, um, uh, approval of other type of cancers uh, or even um, um, higher stages of the bladder. And, uh, who is uh, Dr. Soon Shan? Uh, Dr. Soon Shan is a surgeon and a biotech entrepreneur, uh, and uh, he also um, is uh, known for developing the drug Abraxan, which is a chemotherapy. Uh, and also, he owns uh, multiple um, uh, medical and media companies and. Uh, also, he is the owner of the um, uh, drug uh, uh, Antica uh, company as well, too. Uh, in his uh, most uh, recent uh, media interview, uh, he uh, suggested that um, uh, this drug Antica is a breakthrough uh, for um, uh, a lot of um, uh, uh, type of cancers. Uh, but it is very important that you differentiate that um, 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 early hopes versus the proven benefit. Uh, um, so uh, why did this uh, uh, video went viral? Um, so in his um, interview, he um, uh, suggested that uh, this um, um, uh, Antica drug uh, can help a lot of uh, cancers and the uh, regulatory process are slowing the access of the patients. Uh, and, um, most patients with cancer are looking uh, for hope and that's why these kind of videos can easily become viral and uh, but um, uh, the only FDA approval that this drug has gotten it's only into that specific setting of the uh, non-muscle invasive uh, bladder cancer after BCG failure um, uh, and um, is that why is it that FDA um, uh, does all of these regulatory processes so for a drug to get FDA approval it has to go through phase one phase two and three uh, phase one is to just look at the dosing phase two to just see some efficacy and phase three is to just compare it with the current drugs that we have and see if this works better um, uh, um, and um, uh, so FDA is not trying to uh, stop um, uh, uh, treatment um, and but it is uh, going to try to find the one that is evidence-based and uh, that they are effective and safe to be given uh, so, um, uh, uh, the message that I have for all patients is that uh, as a medical oncologist, uh, my uh, loyalty is to the patients and uh, not to the um, uh, pharma or to the hospitals. Uh, and. Um, uh, 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 my uh, goal is to be transparent with the patient uh, and, um, um, and we just have to know currently the only FDA approval that this drug has is on the um, uh, uh, non-muscle invasive bladder type of cancer. No other type of setting of the bladder cancer, no other type of the cancers uh, and any other type of situation is still considered experimental. Um, uh, we, um, um, uh, we have to be very careful with the media hype uh, and we have to avoid uh, misleading the vulnerable patients and if you have any questions about bladder cancer or any other type of cancer or any discussion we are here to help